Hi guys, welcome to my home. So in today's video, I'll be doing some fall cleaning. Um, it's something I needed to do anyway, and I thought I'd just take you guys with me as I work on it. So the days that I worked on the fall cleaning were really dreary and rainy days here in Ohio. Uh, the lighting isn't the best in the videos, but hopefully you can kind of tell what I'm doing. I admit I don't really know why people want to watch me clean, but if I can at all be a motivation to someone to clean up their space, it's amazing how much cheer that brings into a room just to have it clean. I will be working on the living room first here for my fall cleaning, and the first space I want to tackle is my little plant corner. Um, it's in the back end of the living room. It's just a little area where I have my house plants during the winter. Um, during the summer months, I have them on the front porch, and about a month ago, I moved them all inside since we started to get uh, colder nights here in Ohio. And I didn't really fix them up or anything, just kind of plopped them in here on the floor and on the shelves. So today, I want to actually end up probably repotting some and then uh, kind of arranging them on a cart or a shelf or something. Uh, just get them up off the floor and a little more organized. The next step here is to gather all the pillow covers, blankets, curtains, anything that can be washed in the washer. Um, I always like to do this in the spring and fall and even sometimes in between. Um, it's just amazing how that freshens up a room just by you know washing these items. This isn't entirely cleaning related here, but our cats are trained to not go onto our furniture. Um, it's just a personal choice of ours. Uh, you know, we love our cats, but we don't really want to sit in their hair and dirt. Cats are so smart, they can totally be trained to not go onto furniture. Um, they will try it every now and then, and what I'll do is I'll just lift them off and tell them no. The cats do not like to be disturbed when they're taking their, you know, hundredth cat nap of the day. Um, they like to be left alone, and here in our household, they realize soon that they will have no peace if they try to find a resting spot on our couch. And I always make sure to create a little nest for them that is cozy, you know, elsewhere. Um, that way, you know, they have no reason to go on the couch. Um, in this case, Twinkle always has his blanket here on one of the end tables. Um, it's so easy to keep that corner clean. Just once in a while, I will wash his blanket. And I don't find any hair, you know, anywhere else but on that blanket. So the next step here is something that my mom always did. I remember... Uh, being a little girl at home and you know helping with this um, it's where you take a damp rag and pin it onto the end of a broom and then just use that to go throughout the corners of a room or along the walls um, and just kind of sweep up any spider webs The next thing I'll do here is take my Enviro cloth from Norwex and make it wet. And I always like to use just a little bit of cleaning paste. I love the smell of this paste. I realize it's not really meant to use on wood, but if I just use a little bit, I'm not really worried that it'll scratch up my surfaces. I just use it for the smell, but I do notice if I use too much, it will kind of create little streaks on my wood. So again, I just use enough to get some of the smell on here. And I just love, again, to smell that in my room then after I'm finished cleaning. But I'll take that rag and just go over any surfaces as far as windowsills and furniture. As I'm cleaning here, I do rinse out my rag every now and then.
My favorite Norwex product still has to be this combination of using the Enviro cloth uh, to clean windows and then finishing it off with the window cloth. Um, just such an awesome combination for a streak-free window. I get a lot of questions about the window grills that we have here in our 80s style windows. Trust me, they are not the most fun thing to you know deal with when cleaning windows, but I do like the look of uh, having a grill in a window. I think it kind of cozies things up, so I always put them back in. And with time, they're actually easier to put in than what they used to be. I remember being a young girl at home and having to, you know, clean windows, and they were almost impossible for me to put in. But over the years, some of the little pegs have broken off, and it does make it easier uh, to get them back in. But our dream is definitely eventually to replace all the windows here in our home. They're not very tight anymore, and I'm sure the next windows would definitely have the grills in between the glass. I am almost tempted to not put up any curtains in here. Um, I just love the idea of bringing that outside in. Um, I don't know, can you tell in the video or not how colorful it is outside? Uh, this back window here especially is just like a giant picture window. So here's for all of you that have tilt-in windows. Appreciate those windows, guys. Uh, at least you don't need a ladder to clean them. Um, there are other ways I can stand on the windowsill from the inside and kind of reach out, you know, and clean the outside of the window, but um, it actually takes more time and sometimes for me it's just easier to grab the ladder and just uh, do it this way. For deep cleaning, I always go for my Rainbow Sweeper. Um, it's really old, but it just has awesome suction. I do have a Dyson Sweeper that I use for just, you know, regular general cleaning, but again, there's nothing like the suction on a good old Rainbow Sweeper for some deep cleaning. The Norwex Mop is another one of my favorite products. Um, it's just so easy uh, to just wet the mop and no soap required. Just go over the floors with it. Um, it just really shines them up. I ended up using some of the Norwex cleaning paste to get some spots here clean on the love seat. I was really impressed with it. It uh, definitely took some of the dirt away.
don't like to hang my rug outside yet just to freshen it up. Um, there's just nothing like the smell of the outside to bring back in then. I get a lot of questions about the curtains here in our living room. I've had them for years. I just made them myself, or partially anyway. Um, I just bought sheer panels and then sewed the strips of the tan fabric on top, and I never grow tired of them. They're just such a nice neutral color combination. Um, I do have these on the Etsy shop, but they're not exactly this color. I have searched high and low for lightweight fabric that is this tan color, and it's just really hard to find. If I ever do come across any, I will make sure to let you all know and stock them in the Etsy shop but for now I just have like a darker tan and then also a gray fabric. A lot of you have asked about the light here above our table. It is from Lowe's from a couple years ago.
Summer Wax has this uh, rubber brush that I use to clean the mop. Um, it's really handy to just uh, kind of brush off the lint, and then once in a while I will, you know, wash it in the washer. Uh, but of course, it needs, you know, certain soap to be washed in. The Norwex mop also has a dry mop that comes with it. Um, it's so handy to just go over the floors with it, uh, you know, picking up any uh, lint or dirt that still may be floating about. A clean house definitely needs some fresh bouquets of whatever is in season on the outside. I always like to bring some of these colorful leaves and dried flowers inside. The orange peppercorn candle is still one of my favorites to burn. It smells so good. Such a good feeling to have a clean house. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're at all looking for any of the Norwex products, make sure to check out uh, the link down below in the description box. Norwex is out of the cleaning paste right now. I think it won't be available until January, uh, but there's many other good products for you guys to check out if you're at all interested. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.